Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, November 13th, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Well, uh, went pretty good today for Friday the 13th, and we're okay as long as you can believe that we can hang on to open trade profits over the weekend. Lately, that uh, has not been working out very well for us. I am a little nervous. Anyway, Dow had a good day, gapped up, and rallied all day long, and really didn't pull back at the end like it usually does. Dow finished a, po a very solid, positive 400 points today. So, uh, no complaints about the action in the Dow. We had um, nine positions coming in, and uh, we closed those out with negative $1,200. That was a slight, well, I think we were negative four yesterday on the close. So, we improved uh, somewhat on those. Uh, we got into 12 new positions today. Only four were positive, eight were negative, but in spite of that imbalance, uh, we closed, or not closed, but are carrying positive uh, over $10,000 over the weekend. So, you know, with negative 1,200 closed out and open, over 10,000. That, on paper at least, looks pretty good. But um, the catch is going to be, can we hold those profits over the weekend and get out of them on Monday? And as I say, in these very turbulent times, uh, with anything can happen over the weekend, it's, um, well, it makes me nervous, let's just put it that way. Uh, okay, so I, I'll show you two of our stocks today, and both these would make me a little nervous too, just because things didn't go quite as they should, although not badly. This first one is Nile, Nile Incorporated. I've showed you this chart before. We bought the, this uh, yesterday in the beginning of the second hour, and uh, it closed uh, modestly profitable um, on the close. Popped up really nicely here uh, on the open, and up here at the top, we're up... Um, you know, eleven, twelve thousand dollars on this thing, but uh, and that and that kept us in the trade. As you know, the algo didn't get us out at our normal time. We would have got a better uh, exit if we got out at our normal time. But what the algo was saying, hey, this is good enough. Let's hang with it. And then it started to slip immediately, and we were stopped out here with profits. So we got stopped out with $6,000 in profit. But we slipped quite a bit here as this thing started coming down. Obviously, very happy to get out of that when you see what happened the rest of the day. But uh, still, it was not one of our optimum exits in NIO Incorporated. And next, and last, this is POLA. P-O-L-A, that's Polar Power Incorporated. And uh, this was the first potential good big trade in POLA that we've had. We bought this yesterday, second hour also. It actually closed uh, slightly negative tomorrow or yesterday. But it just took off like a bird this morning. 
that of course kept us in the trade. Up here on top, we were up like fourteen thousand dollars in Pola, and then it started to slip and slip and slip, and it came down to here, but we're still up seven thousand two hundred dollars in Polar Power on the close. Well, I'm looking at that chart, and it's kind of ugly. And we got a long weekend. We'll have to see where this opens on Monday. I mean, it could open up. It could open up. Or it could open down. Or it could open unchanged. We just have to see. Anyway, um, not a bad day for Friday the 13th, but I'm nervous. You guys have a great weekend. And I will be back here trading on Monday.